and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some keg control. This is going to be another good deck against aggro. So just like the Brahma Nivea that we just played. So hopefully play against a lot of aggro. So what we have going on here is we are going to be trying to get powder kegs in play. We got Dreadway Deckhand, Petty Officer, and even Gangplank. We got those three that can bring powder kegs. And then with powder kegs, we can um, get some some cards that can do a lot of damage. We have like Twisted Fate or Twisted Fate Red card with a Powder Keg is awesome. We know about that, but we're pairing it with Shadow Isles because we have Withering Whale with Shadow Isles. With a Powder Keg, this is going to do two to all enemies. So just like the red card, so that that's just an awesome card with Powder Keg. We got that combo, but then we also have like Unspeakable Horror. They can start draining for more than one. Um, you know, Make It Rain obviously is going to be doing lots of damage. Um, so, you know, that's, that's what we have, Powder Keg, and combine it with those kind of cards. Um, even like a Parlay can do extra damage. Um, let's see, we have Powder Monkey that's going to be in here helping our Gangplank level up and just be a nice blocker for us and have things die. And then we got a spicy one at the top end. So I thought about playing Riptide Rex, but decided to go with Rasa. Because I felt like, how, like we should do a pretty good job of being able to kill small units, but it could be like the big units that would be a problem. And maybe that if we were clearing away small units, we could have a Rasa come in here. And with Powder Monkey and with Powder Kegs, we'll have some uh, allies die very easily. And then we play Rasa, and we're able to kill the two weakest enemies, which could be, um, you know, that could be cards like Trundle and Trindamir. You know, maybe we can kill those kind of things if we're able to, to have our other spells kill smaller stuff. Maybe even like Lee Sin, we could take that down. Now, like Bastion should be able to stop that, but... Um, you know, could maybe just take down some, some big champions with Rasa. We're going to try Rasa. It's a spicy one. We got one Dreadway, another spicy one to help us draw a Gangplank and also double all of the damage from all of our stuff during combat. So if we, if we have Dreadway in play, then we play Withering Whale or Make It Rain or Unspeakable Horror or any of that kind of stuff during combat. We get to double that damage. All right, so let's, let's give this a try because like, I think people aren't going to be uh expecting rasa at all people probably won't be playing around rasa you know maybe we play against like a, a fiora shen deck it only has just a couple of units that a rasa can destroy all right looks like we got heimerdinger to start with now heimerdinger does want to play a bunch of turrets and turrets die to withering whale so maybe we keep withering whale let's keep one hired gun and the spray fin yeah i got it Gotta have some spice in here, right? Yeah, if you play Bilgewater Demacia and make the keg not die with Unyielding Spirit, yeah, the, the kegs will just add on the extra damage, but then they won't die, and they'll keep on... Yeah, you'll keep on... Um, you will keep on stacking the powder kegs. So it works out. It works out really well. All right, we'll play the Monkey Idol this turn. Eighteen. I like having the double spray fin. Give us a good threat and card advantage together. Lara Priestess is pretty awesome. In Sunlight Control Mirrors. Keep up, keep up. So the main question is do we go straight to attacks or do we play another Spray Fin first? I'm expecting them to play Heimerdinger, right? So I'm gonna go with the another monkey idol in here. Hey, Kitty Dexterity! Thanks for the cheers. Woo! 
And then, because I want to go Hired Gun and give the Heimerdinger vulnerable. Believe or burn. Okay, they're not going Heimerdinger. They're going to save their spell mana. I guess I will do the same. Ah, the sweet smell of science. And fire! Don't want to play vengeance right now because of Bastion. Want to make sure that we have, you know, nine mana, so like Vengeance plus Unspeakable Horror. I should probably be playing something though. Maybe I should play like Make It Rain. I should probably be playing something. That's a lot of mana that I could just waste. Maybe Parlay. Like, we don't want to do that. Let's go to Make It Rain. Get excited. So keep them from making the three one. Glimpse Beyond. Considering using the Glimpse Beyond right now on the Monkey Idol, you know, I'll just pass. Try to wait a hand. Yes, yes, again. So that's six. Level up Heimerdinger if this works. I have two unspeakable horrors against Bastions. They only have mana for one Bastion. So this should work. Cygnus could be pretty cool. Yeah, Cygnus would be pretty cool. Alright. Maybe I shouldn't have played that because we'd have Withering Will be able to kill this anyway. I don't know. So if I go if I go Petty Officer plus Cygnus, I don't have Glimpse Beyond available, and I kind of want Glimpse Beyond available. So I could go Hired Gun and Cygnus, or like Dreadway Deckhand and Cygnus. One less damage that I'm attacking them for. 
instead of having the three one. They cannot strike when they cannot see. It's looking good for us so far. Hmm. All right, clumps beyond here. Draw two more. Down to six. But they probably have Nexus healing. <clears throat> so that's not like a reliable... Answers. They're at six. There you go. It's almost nine in the evening over there, Choo Choo. Still seems like you're having an awesome day. You picked the losing side. All right. Got a second Bastion out of their hands. If we ever find another Vengeance. And fire! Probably should have my 3-1 block that. Then I would have been able to hire gun the Heimerdinger. Yeah, so I guess they would be out of celestial cards. So let's let's go with this. Your king has returned. I rarely forget and never forget. Two bastions gone. This could be a good Rasa you know, match if we find that card. Eight damage to a unit. Tribium Probulator for eight. That must be nice. That's obviously a big time card. That was a four mana card. That killed my gangplank and gave them a 6-6 six, six and a 4-1. That's pretty big time. Hopefully find some more of our top end cards. We, we're probably... Okay, there we go. That's a good card. I was going to say, we're probably running out of petty officers and higher guns and stuff like that. This works because then this will, um, you know, we'll just kill these first three things. So... Well, that's devastating. Yep, that's devastating. All right, so we're going twisted fate blue card. Yeah, we need we need some more cards. Plank. 
It's not the Dreadway, but I guess we'll take it. Basically, want to see if they like spend some mana first. No, they're not gonna spend any mana first. Dead men tell my tale. Certainly hope we get to attack with Gangplank. No. Really needed to attack with Gangplank. There's our Rasas. So I can try to drain the Heimerdinger, if we think that would work. It's not likely to work, but we could try. I think I wait. Just trying on this turn helps turn on Rasa. Oh, these things are fearsome. That's annoying. I don't even know if it's worth trying to go after the Heimerdinger. This is, you know, just like a single pill cascade. There's so many things that save Heimerdinger. I wonder if it's just better to go after other things. Face? Yeah, we could go after face, I suppose. They. No, it's not face. This kind of deck is playing all the star shapings and all sorts of heal cards. And so that's the thing. They're just going to heal Heimerdinger if I go after Heimerdinger. Two weakest enemies, that would be Heimerdinger and the 3 2. Yes, yes, Heimerdinger is still really good. <laughs> it's smaller than the diagram. Still very good. Rosses were too late. If they were, you know, a good five turns earlier. Could have been a lot better. Yep, GG's. Let's go to the next game. All right, let's see some aggro. Okay, not necessarily an aggro deck. They're going to be trying to level up. Like, this looks like a deck that's, you know, definitely designed on leveling up Twisted Fate. Dreadway, I would have loved to have you last game. Um, and so we should do a pretty good job of killing Twisted Fates. wonder if I should just keep the Dreadway. I wonder if I should just keep the Dreadway. Let's do it. No, definitely keeping you spray pen. So, I already have like good early stuff, and then we're gonna draw. I mean, you know, we're gonna be drawing cards. We're gonna be drawing good mid mid game stuff. I think turn nine, I just want to slam the dreadway. Let's do it. Definitely very very greedy by me keeping a nine mana card in hand, and it's really not necessary. But after that last game, I was taking millions of turns and not really doing anything that exciting. I want to have the Dreadway. So 
See, I could have had Parlay kill that and do two damage to them. But I also I like having Dreadway deck and be able to trade with something. The sun rock got me good. All right, we'll do the parlay here. That'll be our first damage for gank points. Now, didn't end up being really too much different. Like deck hand would have traded with that two two. Didn't end up being any different. Keep up, keep up. Ooh, not twisted bait. Gotta go with the flow. Not twisted bait. All right, I like it. That works really well with the powder keg. But see, even though I kept like this nine mana dreadway, as you can see how this game's playing out, like we're still gonna just have stuff to do on all these turns. And we'll just kinda wait. Coins and Ooh. See nothing left when I'm done. Time to make some coins. Awesome. So didn't give them a free attack into the powder keg. Draw a couple more cards. Anything else? <laughs> Don't stand in my way. Anything else? <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, definitely not. Sacrificing that will kill the T1. We'll sacrifice the monkey. Yeah, with them not attacking with anything else, um, we don't need the monkey anymore. Rasa, you so cool. As cool as the other side of the pillow. No kills, no entry. What? Why isn't the 2-3 just blocked out? Or just not block it? Alright, so my plan is another monkey idol and Never then Eyes open. Petty Officer Powder Keg. And so Powder Keg for the Withering Whale. I only drew one vengeance that killed one hybrid I couldn't find it. Couldn't find second vengeance. Didn't find Dreadway, didn't find Rasa until the game was already over. I need more runs. Yeah, I mean, if you don't kill Hybriding or Withering Whale doesn't help. So Vengeance is the safest thing to do, but Withering Whale or, or Twisted Fate would be awesome at like just clearing up the whole board. <clears throat> the problem with those is if they have removal from my Powder Keg, we're kind of in trouble. So I think I'm just going to go with the safest thing of just Vengeance, the Twisted Fate. Because I can't, I can't just let this stay alive with them having, they, they just played a pick a card. I think I just have to go for it. I don't. I don't want a red card or withering whale, and they just have mystic shot, and then they just mystic shot my powder keg, and then it stays alive. Like that's a nightmare. K 
counterfeit copies they discarded. Well, they have four fleeting cards in hand because they, they just drew five. So four of them are fleeting. So I can pass because they can't pass. They got to play stuff. So that takes up a lot of their mana. They still have three other fleeting cards. It takes up a lot of mana. Wait a minute. Yeah, this this game right here, this matchup, Riptide Rex would be looking a lot better than Rasa. Certainly. Observe and go. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? So they're gonna be trying to mill me out. So we're gonna have level up twist. We're gonna try to level up Twisted Fate. Deal me in. Something for all. Of you. Definitely consider a blue card. Just getting an extra card, but um, decide against it. Dang, two smooth soloists. They had to burn two smooth soloists with their all their fleeting draws. They had they got Zevi and a couple of smooth soloists. What's the water like down there, guys? Alright, let's get the dreadway in play so everything's doubled. So now this withering whale is gonna be doubled. Mega Rain doubled. These powder monkeys dying, they will be doubled. Hey, Quillabot, good afternoon. Built to spec. Let's see, let's go. Let's go Gangplank and get a powder keg. So now. These things will do four damage. It's like Power Cake will make it two, but then double it to four. Alright, GG's. Too much damage. <laughs> yeah, basically five mana, one sided ruination. Ooh, Anivia Swain. That's different. Playing some different decks here. So obviously I like my champions. I like keeping those. I don't really know about Dreadway and Parlay. I guess I'll keep them, but I don't know. They're not exciting. It's good to have cards that are kind of cheap whenever I'm keeping my champions. I didn't want them to be able to just challenge. You know, I don't want to play this before attacks and they, they get to challenge my powder keg. Alright, that's one for Gangplank. We'll see if we get two here. Nope, do not get two. Knock it too. So they they threw away their they threw away their one one just to save one life, but also save that uh, gangplank ability. All right, I will sacrifice and draw two cards. Off. 
So I could go like Petty Officer with a Powder Keg, next turn Gangplank, get a Powder Keg, and then my Unspeakable Horror drains for three and would be able to kill the Kindly Tavern Keeper. Or I just get Twisted Fate and play. And start drawing cards with that. That's also a good idea. Eyes open. We're not really leveling up our Gangplank very soon. I, I definitely think that drawing an additional card and getting that extra mana, which is which um, in turn unlocks Unspeakable Horror, I definitely think that that is uh, very much worth just doing red card and doing a little bit of damage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that block with the 1-1 one was there to deny Gangplank level up. Hang them by their entrails. Definitely considering attacking with Twisted Fate as well. Stand and defend. I do think they would really block have the 5-5 five, five block Twisted Fate. Very possibly, because if I do attack with Twisted Fate, it's telling you know telling them that I can do damage to the Kindly Tavern Keeper. A storm. Bring the storm. <clears throat> Whoa. So you set it up, so now it's going to be easier to kill this Anivia. Looks like We're at 4 out of 8 for Twisted Fate. I will endure. I'm surprised by that block. Seems like if you're going to block something, why not just block the, the Dreadway Deckhand? <clears throat> Could have had that killed. Alright. I guess that's why. Didn't matter what they blocked. Gotta go with the flow. Ooh, good card. Leave your bags in the door. Rock if you work, run if you don't. Nice. Let's keep attuning. How about another round? Get barnacle. Uh, I'm not sure if their plan's gonna be like Leviathan, maybe. Get him, Rasa. See, look at Rasa being all cool. Basically like Riptide Rex. But cooler. And all fearsome. Five health. City Breaker. We have stuff to do. So like they should be playing Swain here with their other five mana. That's that's kind of what I'm assuming, and I'm gonna vengeance the Swain. I'm just gonna sacrifice this and draw two cards. Yay, another Vengeance. I was going to say, maybe I was supposed to be saving that Vengeance for an, another Leviathan and not kill the Swain, or like an Anivia. I'm definitely glad we got another Vengeance. Come on in. I 
I guess, I guess. Just gonna drain them for two. You know, that would challenge there. Lunari Priestess, that's the best case scenario. Ah. They did have another thing to block Rasa, but you know now it's gonna get stunned. That's a good Swain. Good Swain. All right, so that levels up Gangplank. The Freljord's eternal guardian. Bilgewater is mine. All these leveled up champions. <laughs> now we need a Swiss Fate leveling up. That's why we respect you, Captain. Captain. Probably just that attack. So, I mean, we could attack with our other two twos, but probably not that necessary. Well, I guess that could help out with Withering Whale, actually. Let's okay. Do we'll do it. We'll attack with everything. Oh, right. Sprayfin had Elusive. No reason not to attack with that. All right, down to two. That's Harvey. That card's good against Anivia. Ooh. I bring the storm. I just gotta play the Dreadway. Just too cool. Now, of course, Gangplank, you know, like the parlay can do two damage, so I can just do two damage upstairs. Two and one. We're playing against Noxus this game. Darn. I thought for sure we were playing against Noxus this game. I thought for sure. Okay, we're gonna have a lot of powder kegs. Which, like, I don't have the mana to go Petty Officer and also make it rain at this turn. I don't know, maybe I should be going higher gun here. Give that challenger. Kind of planning on spray thin. The power of the immortal sun. No, don't, don't stun my monkey idol. Now how's the monkey idol gonna attack or block? If it's stunned. Keep up, keep up. How's that ever gonna happen? 
Can't stun the monkey at all. Love it. We got Rasa, we got Dreadway. We got some spicy ones. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Love it. So I waste two mana, they waste five if I pass. I don't really want to waste two mana. You know, like I want to play Petty Officer. I guess not. Round seven. Kind of expecting like single combat. Yeah, unfortunately, don't have any grasp of the undying. Gonna go like Remembrance or something like that. You know, we can go make a rain plus Unspeakable Horror to take down Lux. I can't respond to that. Now all they need is. All they need is one more. Burst spell to level up Lux. A beacon in battle. I guess it makes more sense to do that. Does it? No, maybe not. This is my choice. I'll break up the barrier. Star shaping with Lux is pretty good. Keeps them at 12, and they have double final spark. I guess I'm just—I'm not gonna have. I guess I'm just not gonna play Rasa this turn because there's there's just not gonna be things to kill. So let's go unspeakable horror here, and then yeah, that just keeps one of my petty officers alive, and hopefully we get Lunari Priestess. Yes, Lunari Priestess is the best. All right, let's get an awesome invoke card. Oh, and they only got one final spark because of that? Sweet. That's weird. Aren't they supposed to kill Sprayton? No. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the, the second two cards don't have no text. So I guess this one. That's not a very good card. That was about as bad of a Lunari Priestess as we could have, but oh well. Alright, all of our damage is doubled. So what's the problem with playing Gangplank first? What's like the worst thing they could, I guess if I play Gangplank first, they could have like uh, obliterate cards. We know they have one other, so they only have one other invoke card, right? They just play two star shapings 
I think that's it. So they can't have like the behold one, you obliterate two things. I think they just have one other. Because they, they didn't play any Solari cards. So I'm pretty sure this is safe. Water is mine and mine alone. Actually, I don't think because I don't think they can actually have an obliterate card. Daylight breaks on the Yeah, whatever. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it. All right, I guess they have that card. That's still, eh, that's that's still fine. Yep. Glorious light rains down. So let's stun and stun and do four. Oh, D6. Cool. It does two, it does a third point of damage with the powder keg, and then double it. So now I'm attacking for 12, and I have a stun card. Or if they have something like that to block. So hopefully that's game. There we go, GG's. Look at Crescent Strike doing its thing. It was in the cards. And a 3-1 for keg control. So this could be a matchup where Rasa could really shine. Potentially. I do love Monkey Idol, but Monkey Idol against Challengers, not really the best. But Monkey Idol does a good job of leveling a game plank. I just think we have to mulligan it, because it's just not the best against Challengers. Yeah, it's true. They, they can deny. Can't really stop. Uh, you know, deny with Rasa. By my honor, you must die. That's mean. I don't have to die. <clears throat> Alright, so now we should be able to kill Fiora here. Just go parlay. And then if they want to use a barrier, we have Unspeakable War. Your move. We should still do the damage to them. The parlay. Still happen. And then single combat, we'll have Glimpse Beyond. Okay, looks like they're saving single combat. I'd like them to play it. They did not oblige. Everything I've worked for. Which hasn't been much. You get him, Gangplank. the best for me. I was hoping they had the dragon that was a 4-5. I'm... Eh, that's fine. Say I'm worried about Fiora with playing Monkey Idol. River shape the land and give it life. River shape the land and give it life? That's asking for a lot. You're in over your head. Not my first gun fight. Ooh, got some fighting ya. Let's see, so I'm gonna unspeakable horror the river shaper. Um yeah, I think we still I think we blocked this thing. 
I don't know. So they were going to what? Like, they are going to single combat, kill my powder keg, and then I sacrifice it, so then we only do one damage to the River Shaper. This is maybe bad. I guess I should. I guess I shouldn't be targeting the River Shaper. I should be targeting the Sergeant. Yeah, I should be targeting the Sergeant. It does get single combat out of their hand, right? So like that's good. And we get a, a clean glimpse beyond, but we know they are not going to be able to single combat. Oh man, genius! Genius! Targeting the River Shaper was so good. Was so good targeting that River Shaper. Waters are still. Had that the whole time. What a play. So yeah, we, we can play like Deckhand and Duskride. I guess we can go Deckhand and either of these other two. So we can kind of see what they do. See nothing left when I'm done. Yep, calculated. Probably go Duskrider, because Duskrider should be a 5-5, five five, right? Because it, it has two, it'll be the third. Should be a 5-5. Five five. Yep, let's do that. Let's save Gangplank. With me. So, so they can block Deckhand. Is it worth it, them blocking Deckhand? Probably. I guess the powder keg didn't die. I thought it was gonna die in with the powder monkey, but I guess it doesn't. Hold nothing back. I'll just do this because otherwise they'll be able to if I if I go Rasa and they have deny they'll just be able to kill my Rasa with the Genevieve Elmheart rather than just kill Dusk Rider. If they don't have deny, this is just gonna be completely backbreaking. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Best play is usually just to play Dreadway and get Dreadway into the play. But I'm gonna go this route with the 6-6 six, six with the second powder keg. We also have Withering Whale now. So we can even stop a, a barrier. Which I guess the just the attack token would, would stop the barrier or just the attack trigger would stop the barrier as well. Yeah, that didn't work out perfectly. Explosives. I didn't really have a good line against Bright Seal Formation except for just attack, then they play Formation, then I play Rasa. Any other line wasn't perfect anyway. Lost a fair game. Well played one. Definitely consider just going red card. But I think stopping this Bright Seal Formation attack is really more what I want to do. Yeah, exactly. If I go red card, they go shield. Hesitation to tell. Not the best. I wouldn't mind if they like have like something good here, and then I, you know, I Withering Whale afterwards. Like I wouldn't mind casting Withering Whale here. I like that. Wow. Alright, so we basically emptied their hands. Quick death was too good. Alright, basically emptied their hands.
Going for Rasa. Like, this should just kill these two things. Rasa away that thing. All right, Riptide Rex may be better <laughs> than Rasa. Uh, I can't pass though. Yeah, we yes. Yeah, so if we would have played Petty Officer first, we could have played Petty Officer and then Cygnus and gave Elusive. Could have done that. But I don't. I just don't really see them winning this game still. I know. If it was just old Rasa, if it was just seven mana Rasa, we'd go Petty Officer first. Silverwing Vanguard. They would fall by my blade. Pretty sure we're gonna be okay. Alright, so let's see. They're gonna four Demacia. If you work, if you don't. Cool. want to do with this gem. Always hoping for Lunari Priestess. Counter and strike. If I buff the Petty Officer, they can just have the Fiora kill the Petty Officer. I'm going to just hold on to it. Revolution by our Be able to turn on Nightfall easy with the Cygnus. They cannot strike, but they cannot see. All right, GG's. Didn't get to play our Dreadway, because I was too busy playing other stuff. Did not have a very good Rasa <laughs> there, and I guess Riptide Rex would have been better than Rasa, but Rasa's cooler, and that's probably why we went 4-1, was playing Rasa. This is a nice, solid deck. Lots of good removal. Powder kegs, plus all these cards, like your Twisted Fate and your Withering Whale, do make it pretty difficult for for the opponent. I was really impressed with Dreadway. The Dread the Dreadway did look really awesome. I can definitely see playing a second the Dreadway. The one game that we lost was a really long game where we didn't have the Dreadway and the Dreadway would have been helpful. Um, but they probably would have killed it. Uh, you know, just playing a control deck like this, the invoke cards can be problematic and, and that's what we lost too, was a, a late game with Heimerdinger and a bunch of invoke cards. That can happen. Uh, but yeah, powder, powder keg control, real good against aggro. Again, just like the Brahmanivia with these Shadow Owls cards, you know, Withering Whale plus powder keg, awesome, awesome place to be. And then, you know, good, good cards against aggro with Petty Officer, Twisted Fate, uh, that kind of stuff too. Um, so yeah, if, I could definitely see taking out Rasa, you know, maybe just one Riptide Rex, one Dreadway. Um, you know, you could play Rekindler, you could play um, another Vengeance if you want. That's another option. But but there we go. That's Keg Control. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.